Metaverso. Essa palavra você com certeza já ouviu falar e está no hype do momento. E aqui ao meu lado tem ninguém menos do que uma das pessoas que está mais inseridas nesse mercado, nessa questão. E ele é um dos destaques aqui no evento, no Web Summit 2022. Eu estou com o Sebastian Borget, que é cofundador e CEO do The Sandbox. Olá, Sebastian. Muito obrigado por estar aqui com a gente. Thank you very much. Hi. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you for your time. So, Sebastian, uh, você poderia explicar para a nossa audiência o que é o sand the Sandbox e como será impactante na formação do metaverso? So, Sandbox today is a decentralized gaming virtual world where anyone can make 3D content, games, experience, and truly own the content they create, so they can sell it uh, wherever they want, monetize it, use it on Sandbox and outside. Um, the content, those experience, they can be games, but they can be so much more, like virtual shows, virtual concerts, art galleries, museum, uh, um, and you use an avatar, a 3D representation of yourself, to access those experiences. Uh, the origin of the platform, at the very beginning, we always wanted to empower people to become creators. We first launched in 2011 a mobile game on smartphones. Back then, uh, the new feature technology was like touchscreen. So basically, just by the touch of your finger, you could start uh, dropping pixels on the screen. Those pixels represented like uh, elements from the periodic table, water, soil, etc. Progressively, we added more elements like characters, enemies, and people could share those creations in a gallery for others to, to play, to enjoy, and so on. It was rapidly, gro it grown rapidly as a huge success on mobile when we had 40 million installs and uh, it led to uh, more than 70 million uh, creation made by the community. So we were uh, very excited to see so much contribution, so much energy and passion from people. But progressively over time, we also had like a frustration that the top creator, even if they had fame and social recognition as we feature them, they were leaving after a few months, few years, because we had no way to share with them some revenue uh, for the values they contributed and the revenues they generated thanks to their content as it attracted new players and so on. In 2017, we first stumbled upon like blockchain technology and more specifically NFTs. And we understood that thanks to NFTs, people could actually own the digital assets and uh, actually use it the way they want, where they want and sell it as well. And that was a revelation. This idea that, well, if we, anyone, if we allow anyone to become a creator, make their own NFTs, sell them and use them in the game maker, then we would solve our problem. That's, uh, at that moment, we decided to work on a new version of Sandbox using blockchain NFTs at the core and make it a 3D multiplayer, multi-platform uh, uh, platform, where, uh, which use NFTs at the core. And so we evolved from a game mobile game toward like a series of tools for creator uh, with a 3d editor called vox edit a marketplace a map as we become a virtual world and a game maker that is no code and from there uh, we've grown the community around creators first and progressively we added the brands the fans from the brands came in and today sandbox counts more than 4 million users registered with a wallet uh, we have 400 brands as partners or a community of 20 2,000 landowners, and uh, we are one of the leading decentralized projects where people can earn uh, through like uh, contributing as a creator or playing and engaging in various quests and experiences. Muito obrigado, Sebastian. É, você acabou até respondendo um pouquinho antes a minha próxima pergunta, mas conta um pouco é, interessante como que foi a criação do The Sandbox. Como é que vocês criaram? Como é que foi esse processo de pensamento? So, quite naturally, we evolve from a mobile game into a platform. And we understood that as a platform, what matters essentially is like to have great content. With great content, we can attract the users, not just to come once, but like also create a pattern where they come back to engage into the experience that are built. So we put a lot of focus to our like being creator first and develop uh, the creator economy where the creators will not only own the, the creation they make, but they also earn most of the values that they contribute as creator actually in sandbox you keep 95 percent of the revenue you generate when you sell a content on the marketplace this is way above 
anything else in the industry, thinking about like Roblox, Minecraft, and other creator platform, which usually leave 70, 30 to 70 percent only to for the creators. So it's really important, and uh, we have started with a creation tool, VoxEdit, this 3D editor, the No Code Game Maker, because we want to make uh, creation accessible to just anyone. You don't, you should not need to read the user manual or have like a special background or training to become a creator in the metaverse. There is so much content that needs to be built and brought to life to create all those experiences that people will enter with their avatar that we can only succeed the metaverse it's if we have um, so much con like people who contribute with UGC. Ultimately, like the metaverse will be entirely UGC with over 99% of it made by the users. Uh, and so we keep building a game maker and Vox Edit, updating it on a regular basis, working closely with the creator to add the key features that let them uh, like bring their imagination to life, and now very soon monetize it fully as a platform will be enabling landowner to publish their experiences by next year. E Ótimo, ótimo, Sebastian. Além disso, é, por se tratar de uma inovação, é, ainda existe muita coisa nova, né? as pessoas estão conhecendo. É, como você poderia dar algumas dicas para marcas e criadores de conteúdo usarem a plataforma? So, we think like there's a lot of value for brands to use a creative platform like Sandbox and to uh, leverage user-generated content to establish their presence in the metaverse. Brands are interested to come in the metaverse, but they don't yet have like a clear idea f for most of them what they can do. Our recommendation is to be more creative and to take this opportunity to reinvent themselves and even co-create their presence with their community offering like experiences that can uh, like are more meaningful that reward users for their presence into uh, the land and uh, enable them to do things that are not possible in the real world because of like logistics and so on you cannot launch a concert with one million people in the metaverse you cannot open your uh, your factory your space your key location to a great audience you cannot be as close as uh, what this technology now allows to be more immersive, more social, offering a new ways to interact with people and express their emotion with each other as uh, they connect through avatars. Brands have lost a lot of um, like, like the relation with their fan, with their user over social media by giving up the data to our like those centralized platforms and also like having only very short uh, format interaction like you post a content a video like people have 10 15 seconds of attention they uh, they like they share maybe they comment so it's very limited uh, in terms of like how you can interact uh, and with uh, your community whereas in the metaverse people are entering the metaverse like they are going on holidays their mindset is more open to new experiences they spend 30 minutes on average to connect with uh, the brand or the other users and brands leverage user generated content to even empower the community to own the digital official digital assets from the brand and co-create experiences and even monetize it the way they want qual seria talvez hoje um dos maiores desafios para a plataforma de sandbox que você enxerga na sua opinião algo como é, o conhecimento do público é, dispositivos qual que seria so well we're still very early on uh, in the early days of the metaverse there's um, I think like it will take some time for like truly realizing the potential of the metaverse at sandbox we are very focused into delivering as early as possible some of those promises and enable people to create an avatar to enter the metaverse and start experiencing some of those possibilities the key challenges are evolve around already having great content content that will engage users to come but not just come but stay stay and visit and come back creating an habit we want the metaverse to be a place where people will spend uh, several minutes or hours a day try to discover across multiple lands to push through the metaverse to be tr around like true digital ownership and web free so uh, i think like 
the metaverse needs to be open and allow users to truly own their digital identity and all their assets so they can really move from one to another. No one should control the metaverse. It's a myriad of virtual worlds built on decentralized platforms. Um, and ultimately, we, we are still... Um, Want we want to make the metaverse a very creative space so we don't repeat what we've done before with Second Life or the virtual world where it was already too much commerce and transactional at the beginning be much before it captured already like the engagement from a uh, larger audience all around the world. Olha, Sebastian, uh, a gente está acabando aqui a nossa entrevista, uma ótima conversa com você, mas acho que nada melhor do que alguém que está muito bem inserido no metaverso dizer para gente o que como é que você acredita que vai ser o futuro do metaverso? Como é que vai ser daqui aos próximos anos? So, of course I'm very excited by the future of the metaverse. I think like the metaverse will create millions of jobs uh, and new opportunity for uh, businesses and entrepreneurs to build on upon like infrastructure such as like digital asset, NFTs, virtual land. Uh, I think it we have a chance to like create a positive impact back into the real world as well and distribute uh, wealth from this like new digital nation that is no frontier like both global and local and push forward like more creative jobs so we can uh, empower the imagination of everyone around the world uh, and uh, have like more meaningful experience social experience online é, Sebastian, para a gente acabar aqui a nossa entrevista, você poderia passar uma mensagem final aqui para o público do Digitalks? Of course. Well, even if it's early on in the metaverse, I think and I really encourage you like try it out. It's totally free, it costs nothing. Create your avatar, join a platform, uh, start exploring with your avatar, even try out the creation tools. You might discover new skills and be able to uh, express your creativity online and maybe why not find your future job opportunity. We need you, we need everyone to actually build it, and take part of it and uh, be the first pioneers of the metaverse. Thank you. Awesome, thank you very much, Sebastian. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> é isso aí, pessoal. Ficamos por aqui, mas tem muito mais conteúdo. O Digitalx no Web Summit 2022 conta com o patrocínio de Conteúdo Urbano e o apoio de Abrade, App, Mundo do Marketing e Startup.